Hello and welcome to this installment of Diecast Emporium. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 320DL Hydraulic Excavator in 1 to 87 scale. This is a Highline Series model and the item number is 85262. As you can see, it does come in the collectible Highline Series tin. There's a picture of the model on the side. But as you'll see in a moment, this picture is actually the older version of this model and you'll know instantly once you see it. And up on top of the tin, again, CAT 320DL hydraulic excavator, a nice picture of it at work. Here's your specification details. If you would like to pause the video, by all means, please do this. And interesting to note that the 320DL is also offered in 1 to 50 scale by Diecast Masters as well. Very popular machine. So here it is. Here is the 320DL. And I said as soon as you saw the model, you will know that it's not the correct one. So this is the original. This was a Norscott model. And uh, it had the yellow bucket, different riveted connections. Um, so that's interesting to see that the wrong one was photographed. But this is a huge improvement over the original Norscout one. And I will show you just how massive of an improvement it truly is. But let's first focus on this and take a look at it. So obviously this has the black bucket, updated paint. It has our friendly neighborhood operator Bob in the cab. As this is a first generation Highline series model, he is not removable without some custom modification. The tracks are rubber, um, but the even the rubber tracks, again, you will see that in just a moment, uh, but they have been improved, cleaned up a little bit before they kind of looked like Dumbo, just flopping all over the place, looked like Dumbo's floppy ears. Um, but they look much better on this particular model. So, onward with the functionality test. The cylinders actually hold the model. That's a massive improvement. Because I owned two of the Norscott 320 DLs, again the predecessor to this one, and neither one held any posts. The cylinders were so weak, immediately out of the packaging, not from repeated use or because they were in a pose for a while, just immediately, brand new, straight out of the package. They didn't hold the pose. But no matter what pose that you put this in, the cylinders are strong enough to hold it. And that is such a welcome change. Because honestly, the 320 is a great 187 scale model. The only negative thing I have to say, because we're in the business of improving models, so we have to point out the good and the bad, is that the boom and stick the the stick in particular could really be improved to fold up tighter and the bucket could curl in more for a transport load on a low boy but really even that is a much better improvement and again we're dealing with something that's tiny i mean these model these 187 scale models are a lot tinier than uh, 1 to 50 scale which the vast majority of my viewers are familiar with so compromises always have to be made so let's take a look at the original so to get a better appreciation for where we are now, let's look at where we've been. So this is the Norscott 320. This came out in about 2010, 2011-ish, if memory serves me correct. So immediately it had the yellow bucket. Here's the Dumbo tracks, as I like to call them. Uh, all of your riveted connection, your pins and stuff, they were not painted. And this is a sight for sore eyes. Your ram is coming straight out of your cylinder jacket. Sounds like a personal problem. And, yeah. Now bear in mind, this is not a factory defect. I had two of these, two different ones, bought from two different places, and they both had the same boom dysfunction issues, keeping with the theme of things that sound like personal problems. Um, and, yeah. So, here's a better idea of just how bad these tracks look. But, the biggest issue, obviously, for this 
was that. Now granted, I'll give them credit. If you had this sitting in a yard, you know, there really wasn't, besides the 315, which Norscott came out with a few years prior to this, um, and, and the CCM one, of course, but that was out of the price range for most people at the time, including me. Um, there really wasn't a cat excavator 180, 187 scale um, on the market for the most part. So this was pretty much your only option, except for the 315 and the CCM one. So it was nice to have, but this was inexcusable. And for diecast masters to stick with this model, improve it greatly so that now we can actually have a model to model with, um, go figure, right? And it's outstanding. Yes, I would love to see in the future, and this is so easily done. I don't know why we're not there yet on, uh, on all models. It's so easy to add a couple hydraulic lines here, and that would improve the look of excavator models immensely. Um, but in terms of the functionality, huge, massive improvement. So when I do these 80s, 187 scale videos of the Highline series and where they came from Norscott, I, I try and be as unbiased as possible and, you know, try and tell you which one, you know, which one to buy the original. But honestly, if you have a set of eyes and a half a brain, the decision here is pretty straightforward. This one, without question. But let me know what you guys think. Before we go away, let's take a look at how it looks on a low boy. Let's bring in our little low boy trailer here. Fixed our boom and stick. Curl our bucket in to the best of our ability. There we go. So as I mentioned, it won't curl in any farther than that. But again, honestly, these models are small. You have to make compromises. I can't say that enough. Um, it still overall looks looks pretty darn good. And again, for the price point, you can't beat it. These are also very easy to very easy to customize by drilling out these and putting custom hammers and grapples and I've seen a ton of different customs made with these um, on the internet. Check them out, Google them. You'll be amazed how many different customs have been made with 320 DLs. As always guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm Tommy from Diecast Emporium. Take care, be safe. We'll see you in the next video.